teams looking at it earlier to me the story is all about the pitching both squads have some good arms and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top the postseason is officially in full swing lineups and first pitch coming up next Closer to the start of game one, let's join public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 New York Mets. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? You always have to look out for a guy like Joey Votto. This guy is one of the great hitters of all time. 300 batting average with 300 home runs. That is a tremendous combo. He's a fun player to watch. Matt Harvey will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? When you think of Matt Harvey, you think of the 2015 World Series against the Kansas City Royals. At one time, known as the Dark Knight, has had some arm injuries, not quite the velocity that he used to have. He's still 93 to 95 miles an hour. His off-speed pitches aren't quite as crisp as they used to be before his injuries. He's trying to fight his way to be back to being a really good starter. He eats up some innings, but he's not the dynamic guy that he was early in his career. Leading off the afternoon for Cincinnati, the shortstop, Barry Larkin. First pitch coming, here it is. And Great. afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pitch, 107. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. 
Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's Got able to work himself back field. into a hitter's and count 2 2. And he's able to find the knockout there. And that'll bring in Ken Griffey Sr. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Larkin gets his lead at first, nobody out. Harvey over to first, just keeping him close. The 1 0. Adi pops it up. Reyes into shallow left. He's there and records the first down. Now to the plate, Joe Morgan. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing and one. Runners on first with one down. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Oh and one here it comes and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one and the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on it's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you the one one home is taken for ball two time to take a look at the umpires in this one behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first yeah, inning. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, that and that's cool. just what they did right the there. Base. Big strikeout, Don't keep that guy off the base path. Correct. Stepping in now, Tony Perez. Pitch outside, the throw. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. A 1-1 count to the Reds' first baseman. Hit on the ground to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be that scored as an infield single. A designated hitter. Joey Votto. In is Joey Votto now. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. He's got a batting average of 444.
has a look now the pitch a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one one and oh grounded back up the middle oh and it eats him up a bit and the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first Well, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. In now, Johnny Bench, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you, in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. The set and the 1-0. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Two down, runners at first and second. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Three and two now. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting blocks here in the first, that, that, giving up a couple of base so knocks on that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. In now for the Reds, Jesse Winker. And now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening frame. Looking to minimize the damage here. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work. And unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. The set and the 2-0. and Nope, 3-0. and Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. The 3-0. Hit hard. Foul. Come on, let's go, guys. Out of the stretch, the 3-1 home. Up. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, it's been an absolute nightmare start to the game, and the nightmare continues as he walks in a run here in the first. The wheels are not completely off the bus, but they're definitely wobbling. We'll see if he can limit the damage going forward. And now is Yasiel Puig. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. He's totaled four hits in 17 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
No pen. Four one. Nope. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. and oh. To be honest, he just doesn't look that comfortable on the mound right now. He really looks like he's fighting himself on every pitch. 3-0 and oh now. Eugenio Suarez would be next. Three balls, no strikes. And oh, that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And it's times tough. like these that a the pitcher third, feels third, awfully third, third. lonely. I can hey, see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Oh. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. So our situation has the bases loaded, two men out. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big-time power hitters in the league, Eugenio Suarez. From the stretch, called strike at the letters, 0-1. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Ready with the 0-1. 1-1. One one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. The 1-1. One one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Gonzalez is there, and he puts it away as they're able to escape with only limited damage on the scoreboard. So they do get three that inning. That's the good news. The bad news is they leave three men on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Reds three. The Mets coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Well, Matt, I'm looking for someone to step up right now. Down three runs, someone's going to have to hit a gapper with runners in scoring position. It all starts with the leadoff guy. Find a way to execute and get himself on base. See if they can get a rally start and get back in this. Alex Wood gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Okay, here's how the Reds are lining up in this one. And let's take a look at Yasiel Puig, a lightning rod in our sport, but he can play some D. Covers a lot of territory out there and do not come around third base and send this guy home. He has one of the best arms in the game. At the plate, Jose Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Mets, the shortstop, Jose Reyes. First pitch of the at bat. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. The one two. Misses, ball two. Two ball, two strike. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Keith Hernandez waits on deck. Payoff pitch home. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The next 3 2. Line to the right side. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Bottom 
second, the designated hitter, Heath. Standing in, Hernandez. Keith Hernandez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in to Morgan at the bound. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Batting third. The catcher. Mike. Now in the box, Mike Piazza looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Wood gets the sign. Here's his offering. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty. Power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. Pops this one up. Perez over to his right, and that ends the inning. Mets go down quickly. Still down 3-0. Riding in once again, very lucky. He reached on a single in his first try. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. Now that so the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the veteran outfielder, Ken Griffey Sr. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a high strike there, 0-1-1. Griffey is a guy that thrives in these opposite-handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right-handed pitching. Yeah, because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead pole guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that's happening, you stay on anything fading away from you. Griffey Sr. behind a ball and two strikes. He pulls this one into right. Guerrero is there. Two down. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. So striding forward now, Joe Morgan. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now here it comes. In there, no balls and a strike. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short outing. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one to Joe Morgan. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating. Lying to shortstop. He's there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Retire the side. One, two, three, go the Reds. But they lead it three nothing. In now, Vladimir Guerrero. Liga, for the Mets, the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. 
I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Behind 0-2 now. Here it comes, 0-2. Just a touch outside, 1-2. and two. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Still 1-2. and two. Another 1-2 delivery on the ground to the right side. Morgan loves it. Quick throw to first by Morgan, and that's the first down. Digging in now, Adrian Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Gonzalez. He's set, and the pitch. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. One out, nobody on. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Into the big apple seats and gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first homer here in the series. And the Mets will cut the deficit now to 3-1. People always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Now batting, left fielder. Standing in now, Monty Irvin. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One pitch on its way. Line to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. The batter number 24, second baseman. Robinson. Next for the Mets, Robinson Cano. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And the great Raleigh Fingers is up and throwing now. Bases are empty here with two men out. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is Griffey. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer so far in the series. And the Mets have made this a 3-2 ball game. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Now batter. And now Christian Yelich. Yeah. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we'll have it for you next on MLB Network. They're up three to two. Rob Dibble comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Striding in to start the ninth, Mike Mustakis, And they'll need him to get something going here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. 
lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Dibble, a six foot four inch right hander. He's a nine year major league vet. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Again, he sends it out of play. The payoff pitch one more time. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he no faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep okay. breath. Still have two more outs to get, but yeah. retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a ball 1-0. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Back goes Puig. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here! A solo shot here to straightaway right field as it's now a three-all ball game. Hey, that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump, giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time. As a pitcher, you just have to regroup and get back on that horse. Now back, the and now Keith hitter. Hernandez. Keith Hernandez. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 home he is swung on and missed in that strike one. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Now the one and one pitch. Taken, strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Mike Piazza will be next. into the outfield for a one-out base hit. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one the out bat. in the inning. They got They're one more to play with that they could potentially be productive Jeez. with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap.
Into the box. Mike Piazza fouled off. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Perez trying to get there. Possible winning run on first. One man away. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Griffey. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Vladimir Guerrero. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. Guerrero! Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Now the 0-2 pitch. Nope, that's a ball. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Three, and the potential go-ahead run left on base. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer, and we're right back where we started from. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, and we are all tied at three apiece. The one-and-one one pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've now been that, unable to advance that, that leadoff single Joey into scoring position. Yeah, had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's running. Straight taken to throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. Your Matt Bowman please. comes on to start the now home 10th, and red. he's just hoping to get this one Number into the 67. 11th inning. Matt Bowman. Ready once again, Adrian Gonzalez. And he'll be Four trying to back. replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. Gonzalez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Winker ranging back to the track. Ball game. Solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Man, 
the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! heroes are made in the postseason and he was at least the hero in this one he's our top player of the game yeah no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory he was certainly a big factor here and it was pretty cool to see series lead. A.J. Ramos pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian. We all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.